Hi, I'm Cece Torres with IDATV here at Strategicon Gateway 2022, and we're speaking with Jeff Lobenstein, like Frankenstein, and he's an illustrator and artist. Tell us about your work. Hi, uh, I'm an illustrator and art director, as you said. Mm -hmm. I've been working in the role-playing game industry since 1985, so for quite a while. <laughs> uh, I started at a company called FASA, and we worked on Battletech and Shadowrun and Earthdawn, which are still being played actually at this uh, event today. People are still playing those games. Um, I also worked on Magic the Gathering as an illustrator, and uh, 20 years ago, I painted 25 cards that still take me around the world, saying hello to people and signing and doing drawings. And yeah. I'm grateful and amazed every day. That is awesome. How did you get into being an illustrator and being an artist? Well, I've been drawing since I was a little kid. <laughs> um, just like you might recall, in grade school, there'll be a couple of kids that can draw a little better yeah. than the others. Yeah. Well, not me. I, I stuck with it <laughs> and uh, I loved comics and I loved old books with illustra illustrated uh, panels in them and uh, because of Star Wars and such I tried to get into that kind of a field and role-playing games were just beginning as I was in high school mm -hmm. and so Dungeons and Dragons was happening I was in Chicago a company called FASA was doing Battletech mm -hmm. and I got hired a week after I graduated has it been your dream job it's been lovely I like telling <laughs> I love telling stories with pictures and this is a great venue to do it so you mentioned that you were an artist from the beginning, from the get-go. You are, you early on found that passion. What's it like to see what is in your head uh, out on paper or in the world? It's um, drawings are interesting. The process sometimes you struggle with them. The compositions take longer than the final piece. Sometimes the composition is there immediately, and it's a bit like a gift. The fact that the imagery endures it's kind of like pulp illustration from the 30s and the 40s the role-playing game art wasn't really meant to last but some of those pieces resonate with people certainly the magic the gathering paintings because there are collectors and players all over the world those 25 paintings have a life of their own and uh, i'm just grateful that people still <laughs> like the work and i'm able to meet folks like yourself that's very cool and i was going to ask you about the difference between or the the particular individuality of being able to draw for role-playing games. What's that like? Well, with RPGs, you're trying to tell the story. Um, as an art director, I would give people a, the, the first choice you're making is who you're hiring. You know their abilities. So if I trust my artist, I'll give them a page with a hole in a description and a page of text, and they draw something appropriate. I allow them to come across what they think is the coolest idea and you get a better drawing out of people that way. And I do the same thing with myself. I want to put myself into the work and help world build by drawing other details into the picture that tell a bigger story than just a guy standing against a wall. Um, and in the best of ways, yeah, like I said, you're world building with your imagery. Your drawings are very, very, very cool. So intricate. Uh, do you have a favorite drawing? favorite character? No, oh, I don't know. I, I like drawing creatures. I like drawing things that are fun and playful. Um, even my monsters are a little silly. They're not too scary, and I'm a scaredy cat, so yeah, they're not too scary. No, but you know, when everything is said and done, these are games. And um, I think that comes across in my work. The stuff's a little playful, it's a little whimsical, and yet, you know, I, I, I'm trying to convey, I'm trying to spark people's imagination, I'm trying to tell a story, and if I succeed, people remember the images. You definitely are. And it's been very fun being here for us at Strategicon. What's it like to see um, the reaction from fans and children in particular who are like, oh, wow, I know this character or I love this character? It's, re it's remarkable. It's like a, it's a gift. Um, I'm always amazed that the images resonate with people. People come up. I had this card in my first deck. I got this when I was seven. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. It's, yeah. a, it's amazing. Uh, and, it, and I'm lucky to be a part, a small part of everybody's life in that regards. Well, congratulations on, yes, congratulations on all the success and your wonderful art and being able to express that uh, to the world and to. I appreciate it and thank you for introducing yourself and talking with me. I really it was, do but it's it. it's a pleasure and I wanted to ask if people want to find more of your artwork, how can they do that? Well, you can email me at bigbluetiki at gmail, just like it sounds. Uh, but I'm also on Twitter as Illustrator Jeff, Illustrator Jeff, and I'm on Facebook as Jeff Laubenstein. And 
you'll find me there. Just look. <laughs> yeah, okay. And what, why would you recommend to people who maybe are not into gaming yet? You know, there's a lot of other social media takes up so much of, of people's time watching the news. Why, why would you recommend gaming as a pastime? Well, um, Gaming brings people together. Um, one of the strongest things of Dungeons and Dragons was the notion of a bunch of friends in a basement or a kitchen, playing a game, having a pizza, enjoying an evening and being goofy and ex sharing an experience. That is still true all these years later. And I think that's why D&D is more popular again, because we all went through our electronic online gaming phase, but that's not the same thing as making voices and, and goofing around with your pals sitting across from one another. I think yeah. board games, tabletop games, role-playing games allow that to occur. Our family plays games every Friday, <laughs> and um, it's a tradition I hope continues, and it's a hope, I hope it's a tradition everybody has. It's a very fun pastime, and it's, there's so much that you can get involved with. That's true. That's true. Thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to add? No. Um, thanks uh, to everybody that's come out to Strategicon, and uh, to anybody that's been following my work over the years. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Thank Wish you all so the much, best. Jeff. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you Pleasure meeting and you. love your work. Uh, <laughs> and for IDA TV, I'm Cece Torres. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from IDA TV.